Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Lunar Superstar Story Complete. In the previous episode, we finished up our trek around Vane. We met Galleon. We met Mia Ausa. We didn't get to meet Lemia Ausa, the actual hero, but we met her daughter. Uh, then we uh, were sent on a quest by Galleon to go find, apparently, there's a Dragon Master that already exists that's not Dine. We're going to go investigate. But to do that, we had to pass through the non superior which is where we are right now. Off screen, I cleared out the rest of the enemies, and I also realized this is a real treasure chest and not a trap chest. I didn't realize that two of the chests oh, that I didn't grab, that one I actually didn't show last episode because I didn't walk over there yet, but this one I showed right here is actually not a trap. It's 50 silver. So overall, we got two boxes with 50 silver and two herbs in this area. Not too shabby for an area that's just a pass-through area. I did open this chest off screen, but it was just a trap chest. I just wanted to kill all the enemies just for the experience and the, the monies. I didn't go up any levels off screen, I don't think. I don't think so. I think that's pretty much where I left off last episode. Um, yeah, so let's finish heading through the Nonza Barrier and see if we can get onto Lan. Not land, Lan. The city of the name of the town we're going to is called Lan. But anyway. This doesn't look like a town. What the hell is this doing here? We come, oh, we come on behalf of the Magic Guild, sir. We have been ordered to travel to land by Galleon himself. Let us pass. Oh, man, we don't want to get mixed up with the Guild. Go on through quickly. Lan is west of here, and this place is teeming with the criminal element. So I suggest we pass through here as quickly as possible. Come on, Jess, what did I do? <laughs> Give me another chance, come on. <laughs> did you hear that? Please tell me I'm not going crazy. You're not crazy. Our boss is just drunk out of his mind and screaming himself hoarse again. I love the man, but he can be a huge pain in the butt sometimes. How lovely. Can we go now? Lan isn't getting any closer. The last thing we need around here is to have the Magic Guild cracking down on us. So why don't you make your merry way out of here just as soon as you can? Will do, sir. Will do. Alright, so welcome to... I guess it's called the Nonza Barrier. I don't even know if it has a name. Does it have a name? Nonza is an intersection that connects land to the west. Vane is to the east, and the Marius Zone is to the south. I hear there's a bandit town in the Marius Zone, so watch yourself. I think we need to watch ourselves right now. The fishing village of land is west, the Marius Zone to the south. Got it. Maybe we'll get to check out said Marius Zone. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Our leader's name is Kyle. He's the strongest man I've ever seen. I bet he could beat, all of, beat up all of you. You're an easily excitable person, aren't you? The only man who could beat Kyle without using magic is Master Mel. Without using magic. See, he had to, he had to put that caveat in. It was like, I bet you I could burn him. Anyway, maybe we should head out of here. We, on, we come on behalf of the Magic Guild, sir. We have been ordered to travel to land by Galleon himself. Let us pass. Listen up, boy. I don't care if you were sent here by the goddess herself. I don't care if you were binging milk or bring, binging... If you were bringing milk and cookies to my own dear mother, nobody gets through this gate without Kyle's permission. Alas, I think the man is drunk off his arse at the moment. Can we talk to him anyway? We're really in a hurry. The last I saw him, beastie, he was thoroughly enjoying a glass of our finest brew in the North Tower. Okay. Have you no short-term memory, boy? I don't open this gate without Kyle's say-so. Look for him in the North Tower. I heard some explosive belching coming from that direction. <laughs> Uh, okay, speaking of belches, how appropriate. Um, let's go find this Kyle, then. I don't think we can go out this way, either. Oh, maybe we can. Hey, dude, what brings you to the barrier? On an adventure, huh? Cool, man. If you head south from here, you'll enter the Mary Zone, but it's totally overrun with monsters. Word of the wise, avoid. Hey, dude, what brings you to the same shit? So I don't think we can go through that way, either. I just wanted to make sure that all of my ways were blocked. Okay, so this place is a little bit confusing, but at first, as you can tell, there's nowhere really, nowhere really else to enter. Can I heal? Make sure I heal. But in here. Okay, so we have options. We can go up, we can go down. Let's start by going up. North Tower, that's where we're headed, right? I suppose you kids notice that the guards working here are thieves, but they're good people despite that. I hire them as bodyguards when I travel into the Mary Zone to sell my patented extra strength pile salve. Pile salve? I guess it makes sense in a strange way, hiring the guards, I mean. The best part is that the thieves work cheap because they so enjoy getting into fights. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, cool. Alright, so this is an empty tower. I don't know if this is considered the North Tower, but it's a tower. 
Let's go this way. All right, so we're up on the top area now. As you can see, we see down below where we were a minute ago. When I'm going to the Marius Zone to sell my wares, the brigands of the barrier protect me. But they charge so much for their services, they might as well rob me at knife point. Okay. I don't know how, why Mel chose these hooligans to run the barrier. They're nothing but thieves with a license to steal. So, Mel put these guys in charge of this place? Interesting. Interesting. What's up, dude? Hey, kids, you look like you need a good meal. How about buying some of this fresh fish? It's yummy. Fresh? We're at the top of the mountain range. Well, the legal definition of fresh in Nanza is anything but that isn't slimy. Oh. I used to have a steady supply of fish coming from, from land, but not anymore. I heard that a man calling himself the Dragon Master is wreaking havoc on the village. What? A real Dragon Master would never do that. Agreed. What kind of Dragon Master wreaks havoc on a village? Dick. The new Dragon Master appeared in land, but he's using his dragon to steal from the villagers. I thought the Dragon Master was supposed to be the protector of Althena, not a bloomin' fish snatcher. I can't think of a more heinous crime, Alex. No, I can think of about a million. <laughs> a world without heroes is no place to be. It's no place for me. That's a pretty cool song name. I, can't, I transport goods between Moribia and the rest of the towns on the continent. It's hard work, but it's always worth it when I reach the barrier and see Kyle. Mm -mm. Kyle never charges a fee for women and children crossing the barrier. Are you sure he just, he just doesn't do it for women? Just because they happen to have children with them at the time? Just saying. Have I seen Kyle? He was stumbling toward the East Tower with a mug of ale the size of my head. Let's go find him, Alex. Okay. If you find Kyle in the East Tower, maybe you could drop some hints about lowering his fees. Maybe something like, if you don't lower your fees, we're going to run out of money and die. <laughs> Remember, be subtle. <laughs> Super subtle. Remember, if you run out of money, you're going to die. Anyway, is this the booze? Maybe this is the booze. This might be the booze that, that Kyle dude was drinking. So anyway, East Tower. Do we got to talk to people over here? Maybe there's people over here we got to talk to. Uh, pretty much what I got to do is got to run around and find this Kyle guy. So, East Tower, he said. I assume this is the East Tower. Let's check the top first. The top is a dead end anyways. My friend Kyle was here a while ago, but he went to get some food because he was hungry. I bet he went to the cafeteria in the basement. That's where I went. I go to get ice cream. Okay. Let's go get some ice cream then. Basement! We explored the whole top area, so we're just going to go straight down to the bottom now. I know there's one more tower to check, but maybe we'll get a chance to head over there in a minute. All clear, boss. Ah, you're not Kyle. Next time, how about a hail? Ready, set, hail! Ah, you kids are trying to kill me, aren't you? You're sick. <laughs> Alright, what's up with over here? This is the boss's room. Pretty swank, huh? Now if only we could get rid of that awful smell. Is that it? Yeah, okay. Who's this guy? If it's the boss's room, why is he sleeping in the boss's bed? Scritch? He snores and he grinds his teeth. Do you think he's related to your dad, Alex? Huh. I don't know. But he has a face in his picture, in his in his dialogue box. Maybe he'll be important. I don't know. Jessica, Jessica, why must you taunt me so? Can't you see how much I love you? Whoa, someone call the guys on the white coats. This one's a keeper. Oh, that's it? Same shit? Okay. Pretty sure this just leads up to the the tower. Yeah, this is the tower that I, I went up to start off when we first started looking or going in here. Anyway, over here we see some jail cells. What's up, dude? I am never seeing you children in my prison. I am never see oh. I am never seeing you children in my prison before. Are you wanting to see me inside the cell? We're on a mission assigned to us by Gallion himself. Throw us in jail and you'll answer to the Magic Guild. I am formally offering you to tour our prison. You are please going. <laughs> That's funny. I like how he talks. Definitely a foreigner, just saying. Hello, children. I would show you the merchandise I'm selling, but you're too young to know about that sort of thing, tee hee. I don't think I need to see it to know what it is, Alex. Alex, your face is red. What's going through that naughty mind of yours? I didn't say anything. Come sample my wares when you grow up, kids, tee hee hee. Uh, I'm guessing lubes, toys, and other assorted sexual, uh, based items. Anyway, this seems to be the cafe. Maybe Kyle's in here. What happened to Kyle today? He was really angry and really drunk. I saw him stumble off to his bedroom after his 20th drink. Do you think he's all right? Kyle's bedroom is north of the mess hall. Why don't I check on him and make sure he can stand up straight? Um, why don't you? Kyle always falls asleep right after he eats, just like a little boy. 
but he doesn't have any problem finding girls to mother him. Kyle always falls in the same shit. I thought maybe he was going to say something new. You should have seen it. There was a man in here who had the most severe case of the munchies I've ever seen. He ate more food in five minutes than I've eaten in the past five days. But I think more of it ended up on his shirt than in his mouth. I was told he's the leader of the barrier guard. I guess you don't need manners when you're in, my, in, when you're in charge. I beg your pardon. Galleon is the strongest magician in the world, and he never eats with his hands. I'm sure Kyle is strong, but even he isn't immune to the ravages of heartburn. <laughs> yeah, nobody's immune to heartburn. Kyle's a lucky man. His quarters are right next to the mess hall, and a midnight snack is just a stroll away. That is pretty lucky. That is pretty lucky. I've never seen anyone drink like Kyle does. It's one of the things that attracted me to him. You like drunks, huh? That says a lot about you. Just saying. Excuse me, pardon me. I have a couple dozen mouths to feed. These men are starving after a hard day robbing. I think Master Mel eats his, eats this much food for breakfast. What's that? Someone has a bigger appetite than these guys? That's a frightening thought. Master Mel is a beast. That's a lot of food, but it's not as much as Master Mel had. True that. Today's dish is the Brigand Surprise. I've added roasted fire ants for a dash of flavor. Roasted ants? Blech! How disgusting. But if they were covered in chocolate, I might feel a little differently. Chocolate-covered ants. What can I say? The, the Brigand Surprise is the hardest dish to prepare. One mistake kills the flavor dead. Hey, can I have some of this brigand surprise? No, we don't have any money to pay for that. Who said we had to pay? It's a place full of freaking thieves. And they said it's called brigand surprise. Anyway, if you didn't catch the details there, they said that Kyle went to his room. Well, we learned that the master's bedroom was up here. Was that the guy in the bed? The guy in the bed is gone. Where did he go, dude? Kyle's finally asleep, thank the goddess. When he gets drunk, he gets completely out of control. So we lock him in the jail cell until he dries out. I wish he'd stop arguing with Jessica and just admit how he feels for her. Jessica. I feel like we've heard that name before. Wink, wink. Anyway, jail cell, he, you say. I do see a guy in a jail cell. Ugh, oof, my boss is most certainly wasted. He is becoming this way every time he's speaking with Jessica. I am wishing they would make up most happily and start boxing their tonsils. Oh, yes. Boxing their tonsils. <laughs> I think that means kiss and make up, but, you know, I could be wrong. If Jessica and Kyle are making up, I am no longer being beaten up. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's say hi to the dude in the cell, who's probably Kyle. between you and me. I think I had a little too much of the wine. Uh, but the women didn't complain. Okay. Best leader ever, dude. Kyle the leader. Gotta love him. Snort! Belch. <laughs> you are being quiet, kids. Kyle sleeps most calmly and you are riling him into furious anger. What? This sloppy drunk is in charge of Nanza? So what's he doing drooling all over the floor of this jail cell? When the boss is getting worked up, he is becoming most entirely berserk and uncontrollable. When he is having a most disturbing battle with his old girlfriend, we are knowing it was coming. So we are encouraging him to drink most excessively and throwing him into the brig. It is being for the best. Okay. What's going on that there? Kyle, it is being nothing, nothing at all. You are going back to sleep now. Okay. I'm sleepy. That was being too close. I will make you a deal. If you are not disturbing Kyle again, I am ordering the guard to open the west gate most swiftly. I am suggesting you accept my offer before I am throwing you into the cell with Kyle and devouring the key. Oh, well then. Jessica was Kyle's girlfriend? Wow. Wonder if they still have feelings for each other. I don't know. You are briskly walking away from here before Kyle awakens and gnaws on my foot. Alright, I'm briskly walking. Anyway, I have one more room I didn't check down here. Some guy in land is calling himself the Dragon Master and stealing food from the villagers? What the? What is he, stupid? This is Kyle's territory, and the only people who steal here is us. No one has the right to steal from others. 
Why doesn't Mel stop harassing us and go after the real criminals like that guy in land? We don't hurt innocent people. We protect them for a modest fee. I mean, that's not entirely uh, bad. I saw an old man crossing the barrier the other day and tried to charge him for passage. Not only did he turn me down, he gave me and my men a righteous beating in the process. An old man beat you down? We thought he was going to finish us off, but then he just laughed as he kicked our quivering butts again. He said his name was Lake, or Like. So Like passed through here, did he? That sounds like Like, all right. I've never seen anyone fight as skillfully as Like, or Lake, or Like. I don't know. I'm, I'm still going to call him Like. He might even be stronger than my boss, Kyle. I can't believe we tried to charge him money. I'm so embarrassed. So Like passed through here and kicked the shit out of these guys. I think they deserved it. Anyway, one thing you want to note is there is another one of these red treasure chests here that we can't open yet. Keep in mind, there is one here. All right, I think we are good to go. Let me double check this tower and make sure there's no NPCs. There's one right here. Greetings, I'm headed for the village of Eluk. Iluk. Eluk? Iluk? It's in the south region of the Marius Zone. It's a place where inventors from all over have gathered to realize their creations and exchange ideas. I'm going there to build the ultimate inflatable... The ultimate inflatable. Here, one of the Ilux residents is working on a machine that can fly through the air. What a crackpot. So tell me, what do you think is most important in a minimally interactive inflated companion? Minimally interactive inflative companion. Oh, you're in the right place, my friend. The Marius Zone is home to a man named Damon. He's supposed to be the guardian of knowledge, but he locked himself in the highest floor of a huge tower teeming with ferocious monsters. You'd think a guy with so much knowledge would know better than to do something so stupid. Maybe he knows something about the dragons, Alex. I'm hoping Damon has the answer to the question I've held close for the past six months. Does this look infected to you? <laughs> I'm thinking if you have to ask the question, it probably is. Just saying. All right. This place is a little bit confusing on how to get out of here, but if you remember, there was one tower that we went into to get in here. Basically, to get the fuck out of here, you have to go back through that tower. It's the only exit back out to the main area on the ground level. So we're here. Alright, cool. Easy peasy. We got our permission to go through the barrier. Let's get out of here before we don't get a chance. We'll, we'll surely be seeing this Kyle person again later at some point. Anyway, what's up, dude? I could have told you Kyle was going to get toasted the second his lady friend stormed out of here. You didn't actually try to wake him up, did you? Few things in this world are uglier than Kyle on a bender. Except perhaps my mother on one. We were about to wake him up when someone stopped us. And a wise man he was, freak. You might as well wander into a cave and tickle a hibernating bear. Why don't you run along now before you get us all fired? Bitch, you're the one that didn't let me through the goddamn gate to go look for him. What kind of shit is that? Fucking ass backwards ass logic. Oh, why'd you even try? It's like, bitch, you didn't let me go through the gate. I had to go talk to him thanks to you. Anyway, now that we've passed through the Nonza barrier... We are on the other side of... I guess these are just the Nonza Barrier Zone. Ah, shit, shit, shit! Oh, no. Hopefully I don't get screwed over. I didn't know this was going to be a trap chest. Shit. Special delivery. I should have noted which chests were trap chests. I think we'll be okay. I hope. Also, I put Luna's uh, bow back on. Instead of having the bow or the dream cane on, I switched it back to the bow, just so she could do damage. I just realized, I thought about it, I'm like, if I'm going to use the dream cane as an item, I can just use it as an item. I don't have to fucking equip it. I was being an idiot last episode. I'm sure somebody was thinking about it, but I called myself an idiot, so that was cool. Um, it'd be really nice if Alex could go, but I guess we're not going to get that chance, are we? That's alright. I'm thinking Thunderbomb's going to kill all Check these fools. Also, this is just the other half of passing through the Nonza barrier, so feel free to, again, be liberal with your MP. Use it up if you need to to get through here. Don't be scared. And uh, you won't have to worry about it because there's no boss fights here, so that's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. All right, so that treasure chest was fucking pointless. Cool. Let's uh, probably be more careful. I'm assuming there's going to be at least one more trap chest over here somewhere. Oh, I don't know my way through here, but I don't. I think this side of the barrier is actually smaller than the other side. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that at all. I have no idea. I may be just talking out of my ass on that one. Um, let's just focus. Because Thunderbomb can hit them all, and Check then this Alex and Luna can clean it up. These moths won't know what hit them. Well, maybe. 
Maybe they know what lightning is. They know it'll hurt, that's for damn sure. Battle bow is not strong enough to kill some hoes. So yeah, uh, a couple episodes back, we got that healing ring when we finished up the uh, the cave, the vein cave of trials. Is Alex faster than Nash right now? How did that happen? What the heck? Nash was going first like every battle, and now all of a sudden Alex went first. Oh, did Alex go up to level 16? That's what happened. Did I do that off screen? I forgot if I left off on Alex being 16 or 15 in the last episode. Okay, maybe I did get a level up in the last ep like between episodes, I mean. The mountain pass has become much safer since Kyle was put in charge. Before he and his men arrived, unwary travelers were mugged on this tra trail every day. I transport goods between Meribia and the Marius Zone, and this is always the worst part of the trip. I don't know about anyone else, but I definitely appreciate what Kyle and his men have done. Kyle and his men have a bad reputation, but they do good deeds. I don't know about anyone else, but... Okay, he's just repeating himself. That's good. Let me double-check there wasn't anything else up here that I missed. I don't, I don't know the layout of this place at all. Is there any treasures on this side? I think there's one treasure over here, so... Far be it for me to not check all the fucking boxes on the way. I'm gonna go ahead and explosion staff the shit out of these guys. Because at least it'll take out three instead of two. If it was only gonna take out two, I'd probably just attack, because Alex can kill two. After a thunderbolt. But if he can kill three, then explosion staff all the better. It's kind of weird that explosion staff has such a smaller AoE than the Thunder Bomb. I don't... AoEs in this game are very strange in that they have different ranges. And the only way to really know the ranges is just test it out and learn it that way. Also, I was talking about how we finished up the, the Vein Cave of Trials two episodes ago. And I was gonna... Uh, did I mention the Healing Ring? That's what I was gonna talk about. I, I feel like I didn't get to finish my thought on that. I got that healing ring, and you'll probably see the see that that is actually becoming very a very helpful thing that I have going right now, where Alex keeps getting healed every turn. It's a very very powerful powerful uh, accessory to have. In that, you may not think a little bit of HP being re recovered every turn in a turn-based game like this is very helpful, but in this game, you'll especially see it add up when you're going through a dungeon and you get through a battle where you don't get hit at all. But you got hit a bunch in a battle before, so you'll spend a battle getting free heals while you're fighting and killing all the enemies. Like, it's worth it, dude. It's super worth it. So luckily, luckily, there's more than one healing ring in the game, so we'll be able to exploit that here throughout the entirety of the game. Which I will promptly do. So, and he gets a free heal right at the beginning of battle, too. It's like, it's double overkill when he gets one right when the battle starts, also. So helpful in, in dungeons. Like, super helpful. I'm gonna try to put these fools to sleep, I think. Just, just, let's see. Let's see if I can get Check lucky and put out. some of these bitches to sleep, you know what I mean? And you know what else I learned off screen? Those ants I was fighting earlier? Like, in the last episode? I can put them to sleep. I just had horrible, horrible luck. Because I was fighting them and then I... I used the, uh, I either used the sleep cane or I hit them with the sleep cane, the dream cane, whatever, with Luna, and the bitch went to sleep. I was like, wait, what? It worked? Like seriously, why didn't I get? Why did I get so unlucky with Temptation Song? When I watched H.C. Bailey play this game, he used Temptation Song and it fucking worked like every time. Like he would get at least one enemy every time when he was using it, and I was like, god damn, that shit's hella good. And now I'm using it in my playthrough and I'm having horrible RNG. I'm not getting any luck. Like, I did earlier on. Don't get me wrong. You saw me use it in the early dungeon where it was extremely helpful. And we used it to pretty much get through the dungeon without barely getting hurt. But, man. Maybe just the enemies later in the game are just more resistant to it or something. Because, man, I'm not having any luck. Maybe that's just what it is. They're just more resistant to it. Please tell me this is a real item. Cool. Starlight. Okay, so if there's any more chests in the way, I will not pick it up. There's a, a bee hanging out with this guy over here, though. <laughs> Alright, this should be the last enemy on the way out, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think we're almost out of here. One more thunder bomb for the road. Check this out! Check this out! By the way, I hope you're not getting annoyed by the, uh, the same dialogue being said and people use the same move over and over again. Because that won't happen for the entire game, I swear. <laughs> yeah. 
get used to the voice acting for every move because it's going to happen every time. Like Alex's sword dance. Oh boy, wait till we be using that in every battle. It's going to be good times. Especially in a boss fight. Oh boy. A boss fight that actually takes more than like five turns when he's just using sword dance for all the turns. Good shit. Good shit. Lucky for me, I don't hate the voice acting in this game, so it's good. Kyle's a thorn in my freaking side, man. Every time I'm about to make a deal, that freaking kid shows up and scares off my customers. He says I sell stolen goods, but that ain't true. I just acquire them at a five-finger discount. Here, check it out. I got a cracked mug with I Love Vane on it. You previously owned an umbrella with a couple of ventilation holes. So, you gonna freaking buy something or what? Are you a thief or a garbage collector? Are you sure you didn't collect this crap curbside? What do you mean it's junk? Are you kids freaking blind or what? Let me explain this to you. Say you're trying to cut back on caffeine, right? But you just can't stop drinking coffee. So, you use this crack mug and while freaking law, you're cutting way back on the caffeine. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Uh... Wait, what the heck are you talking about? A mug with holes in it, dude. Uh, wait. I don't know why Kyle keeps trying to chase me away. That freaking kid had no appreciation for capitalism. Wherever there's a demand for useless crap, I'm gonna supply it. Fair enough, dude. Horrible salesman, but sure. Kyle's the best bandit, uh, wealth redistribution specialist I know. I'm proud to work for him. This guy's proud to work for a thief? I don't get it. Kyle's the best bandit, uh, same shit. Okay. Wealth redistribution specialist. Best name I've ever heard for a thief. Anyway, this is the last screen to leave. And back to the world map we go. Are we finally going to make it to land? Not that it's been that long. We fucking started heading there last episode, and we're here now. Well, about to be here. Let's see if there's anything over here first. Anything over here? Anything at all? Oh, wow. There's a lot more land over here than I recall. Holy crap. What's going on over here? Nothing? There's just a big-ass empty area over here? I don't remember this at all. There's literally just a big-ass empty area over here. I walked right by where land is. That's silly. I didn't remember all that. See what I mean about just nooks and crans in this game? There's a lot of parts of the map where there's just areas to look at, but nothing really to see. Can I go to this forest? Oh, that totally looks like this is going to be a forest to like explore. Forest the Explorer. Anyway, fishing village of land. There it is. Certainly looks like a fishing village. It's on the fucking water. Makes sense. Alright. Welcome one and welcome all to the small fishing village of land. Let's NPC it up as usual. Our village is home to one of the best singers in the world. Her beautiful voice helps us to forget the trouble being caused by the Dragon Master. Why don't you go inside and say hello to her? I'm sure she'd love to meet you. Um, I'm sorry. I have the best singer in the world with me. So no. Our singer is so good that even Althina herself is listening to her lovely songs. How do you know that? Anyway, if this is her, let's say what's up. Sup, girl? Hello there, welcome to land. The villagers are depressed because no one can go fishing, so I've been singing songs to cheer them up. Would you like me to sing for you too? <sighs> Fine. Alex, she's almost as good as Luna. I like this girl. Really? Thank you so much. Come back whenever you need cheering up. I'm not that impressed, honestly. Welcome to land. Are you going to sing again? No, 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 no. We're good. Oh, that's fine. Just remember to come back if you ever need to turn a frown upside down. Yeah, that'll be never. Not that I won't frown, but you're not going to turn it upside down if I am. Just saying. Oh, shit. Oh, I was trying to go around the house and I accidentally angled myself out. Whoops. Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, we heard that song before when we were back in Moribia, I think it was. The singer at Moribia's Bunny Tavern sang that same song, I'm pretty sure. Alright, anyway. Note back here, another red chest. Can't open yet. Another, again, they're all over the fucking world. Keep a mental note where they're all at. Welcome to the Oceanside Fishing Village of Lan. Unfortunately, these days, the fishing isn't so good. There's a problem. Thanks for the tip. We were just leaving. Oh, no, don't be such a fraidy cat. Harvesting the sea's bounty is all we know to do in land. Without our way of life, we have nothing. Oh, oh God. Burpage, dude. I'm kiling this episode up. 
My husband warned me not to stray too far from the village because it's dangerous. But what monsters is going to attack a sweet old lady like me? From what we see, madam, just about all of them. Monsters won't want to eat me anyway. They prefer fresh meat. Hee hee hee. You're right, you're old and spoiled. Why would a monster want to eat you? Oh, children, you came here from Berg? How did you manage to avoid all the monsters? If not for that fine young man from the Nanza Barrier, there would have been even more in your path. Oh, children, you say the same thing twice in a row? Alright, I guess that's it for this house. I guess we have an item shop here? That's what it looks like. Welcome to our humble little store. It ain't much, but it's mine. Have a look at my wares. Alright. She's got, uh, nuts. Is there anything I want to buy here, by the way? I don't think so. I think we're good on buying stuff. Um, I don't think I'll need the nuts. I got a few herbs, and I think between herbs and Luna healing, I think we'll be fine. Um, let's see here. Now, I could be wrong, but I do recall someone saying that the Dragon Master was the protector of the goddess. So why is he living in a swamp and disturbing the good people of this here village? That's an easy one, because he's a fake. Oh, sorry, that was Nash, but whatever. I do recall some good cons in my time, but posing as the Dragon Master? There ain't a bigger con than that. True that. Where's Ramus at when you need him? I thought the Dragon Master was a hero, but he's a bad, bad man. He scares me so much, I just want him to go away. Don't worry, miss. I'll give that infidel the beating of a lifetime. There's no way you kids can defeat the Dragon Master. We need Althena to strike him down. We'll see about that. If he's as fake as you guys say he is, we'll handle it. We'll handle it. We'll let him know, dude. We'll let him know. There's a lot more houses here than I remember. Holy crap. Hey, did you know all fishermen never die? They just smell that way. Is a mug of Althena's no Ath Althena knows what? Oh, God knows what. Althena knows what. I get it. Is there an idea of breakfast here in Hicksville? Hey, did you know? If yeah, same shit. Sorry, he didn't say anything new. I thought he was gonna say something different. All right. Hello, kid. I'm starving. Say, wanna play a game of booger barter? I think that's the most disgusting thing I've heard all day. Ugh, no. Man, Mom, stop talking and make me dinner. My stomach is growling at me because he's angry. Wow, what a fucking spoiled brat who plays with boogers. Don't worry, my son. Your father will come back with lots of fish for you, I, I promise. Alex, I can't bear to watch this. We have to do whatever we can to help them. Indeed. Alright, so we gotta help these people with this fake-ass Dragon Master, which we're starting to learn more and more about this dick and... Starting to realize it's not seeming like a real thing here. You know, we've got an empty house. Can we, can we examine anything in there? Whenever I see an empty house, I'm like, can I examine shit? Nothing to interact with. What's up, kid? Ah, monster, help! Uh, what? Hey, you're not a monster. You're a white cat with wings. Neat. The monster I saw had wings, but he wasn't white, and he was not nice. If you want me to stay nice, don't call me a cat, bitch. Maybe the monster I saw belongs to that bad man on the island who won't let my daddy fish. What a dick. Wow, who knew fish could get suntans? Uh, no, these fish are being dried out in the sun to preserve them. Really? That means we can take them along, some along with us. Sounds like a plan. Salty sea fish for the sea fish. Uh, look at the size of this fish, Alex. It's awesome. I don't think I could eat this whole thing if I had two stomachs. I think you're the one who'd be... I think you're the one who'd be eating all nice. Get fucked, no. This is the house of the village chief. He's having another meeting about the Dragon Master on Land Island. But I'll bet the only thing they can agree on is having another meeting. Wow. Wow. Talk about getting shit done around here. The jagged coastline around land creates a complex network of ocean currents. That's why the meat of our fish is so firm and tasty. Because they're always getting in exercise. Now if only we could go and catch some of those, those little buggers. Those little buggers. I really think the fish of land are the most succulent food in the world. But at this rate, I don't think we'll get to taste them again. Alex, I didn't realize what an emergency we had on our hands. We have to help. Indeed. The land cannot be without such succulent fish. Is this your boat, sir? Right you are, mates. But I'm not about to take her out. Every time I try to fish around Land Island, some complete lunatic tosses magic fireballs at me. What? You want me to pilot you out to the island? Excuse me for saying so, but you're plumb loco. I'm not set in sail with that nut loose. All right, so... We probably need to go after the guy on the island. How are we going to get there? We'll find out. Hey, is it true that we can't go fishing anymore? Yay! Wait, why are you so happy when everyone else is freaking out? 
because we have to eat fish every single day, and I don't want to eat it again. Yeah, okay. I don't care if we never catch another fish again. I hate them. It really is ungrateful to be such a fussy eater. If you don't eat fish, you're not going to grow up and big and strong. Hey, you'll just be a little bitch forever. Maybe then we won't ever grow up to be a big bitch forever. Saw a very pretty girl go into the chief's house. Someone told me she came here from Nanza. Pretty girl from Nanza? Sold! You have to be reasonable! The Dragon Master causing problems must be an imposter! The true guardian of Althena would never bring harm to you! To prove it, I will personally investigate this matter on your behalf! Sounds good. I'm assuming that's the girl on the table. Oh, when did you come in? You weren't here before. Did you come after hearing of the trouble here? I think this Dragon Master is a fake. In fact, I bet he's even a bigger phony than my former boyfriend. A good fight is just the ticket to get over that rat. So, let's go find this fraud and show him who's boss. I like her already. Sassy, yet satisfied. <laughs> I'm feeling grumpy because I had just had a fight with a jerk in Nanza. And I really need to blow off some steam. But the chief of this village is too stubborn to listen to me. I don't know what to do. Wow, Alex, this girl is really hyper. We were sent here by Master Galleon of the Magic Guild to check out this Dragon Master. Really? You must let me come along with you. I'm a student at Althena Shrine, and I'm quite skilled with healing magics. I know we can find this guy if we work together, so what do you say? Uh, what do you think, Alex? Fuck yeah! Pretty girl's always allowed to come with us, you know what I'm saying? Great! We're getting along already. Let's go. Hey, I know you. Who, me? Yeah, you. I swear I've seen you before. No, I'm sure I would have remembered it. I guess you would have. Oh, well. When I remember where I've seen you, I'll let you know. This so-called Dragon Master lives out on Land Island. So let's go to the pier and borrow ourselves a boat. All right. New party members. So she didn't tell us her name. But her name's Jessica. Kyle's girlfriend. Also, Mel's daughter. Yeah, all the same girl. Yep, if you weren't already uh, putting the pieces together, that's her. It's Jessica. Anyway, this meeting is called to order. We're here today to determine how to defeat the Dragon Master who has made Land Island his home. And don't be afraid to speak up. Our livelihoods, our very lives are at stake here. I will wait for everyone else to speak before I contribute my own thoughts. Because I have none of my own. If you have any ideas, speak up. Althena knows we could use some. If you know any... We must obey the Dragon Master. If we were to anger him, we would taste the vengeance of Althena herself. But you don't even know if he's the real one. Perhaps Althena is angry because I catch so many fish. Yeah, that must be it. <laughs> I was fishing off the coast when I nearly got whacked by a fireball. It was the guy on the island who shot at me. There's no way that barbarian could be a Dragon Master. We have to do something. Anyone, anyone who uses magic for the service of evil isn't fit to call himself a dragon master. Indeed. Oh, this is not the case. Wait, what? I don't know why some people call that guy a dragon master when he's just a bullying magician. I missed that second piece of dialogue. I didn't realize it was different. I don't care if the dragon master is real or not. I just want to catch fish and feed my family, man. It doesn't If someone doesn't kill him soon, I'm going to sail away and take my chances. Sail anyway. If this is the real Dragon Master, I fear for the turn of events that allowed Althena to permit this. Agreed. Althena be a bitch if she allowed this shit. We can't allow Althena to be such a bitch if she's a... Whatever I was trying to say, I don't know. Um, Speaking of Jessica, should we check her shit? She's got a mace and some clothes. Some cool clothes. Priestly formal wear. She wears an armlet like Luna and a headband like Luna. That's pretty sweet. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and talk to the dude with the boat. Hail, sir. Be on behalf of the magic here. I order you to lend us your boat. What? I'm not about to give my baby to a total stranger. And especially not to a jerk. I've come here to fight the Dragon Master who's holding your village hostage. If you don't want to be zapped to the frontier, you will lend us your boat. Hell no, I won't. This boat is my baby. If you put so much as a scratch on her, I'd... Quit yammering, you fool. Didn't you hear him? We're here to save your village. Now shut your cake hole and let us take your boat. Uh, of course, of course. Get on in. Really? Hey, thanks. Sorry about yelling like that. I have a bit of a temper. Got it from my dad. 
wonder who her dad is. JK. My father's an ex-pirate, remember? He taught me all he knows, and that's a lot. Come on, let's go. Yeah, dude. She's she's the fucking daughter of master fucking hell mel. Okay, so again, Jessica has officially joined. Are you guys ready to do one of the most irritating things in all of existence? And I don't mean the dungeon we're about to go through to, to confront this master of dragons. No, no, no. I mean the thing we're going to do before we get to that. So anyway, the, the boat sails to the island. And now we're here. Hold on. Well, here we are. I already know that the dragon master living here is an absolute fraud. Of course, I have yet to see a real Dragon Master, but I'll know it when I do. The Dragon Master's sworn duty is to protect Althena and her people from harm. So why would he be living in the middle of a fetid swamp? It's absolutely ludicrous. It's only because of an ignorant hicks that the rumors spread as far as vain. Just because you think he's not the real thing doesn't mean we shouldn't check it out. After all, this guy is using his power to steal food from ignorant hicks. You have a bad habit of talking before thinking. And you have a bad habit of endangering your health by scolding powerful magicians. What was that? Was that a threat, Nash? Huh? Please, you two, let's not fight with each other. We came here to find out why this man is doing what he's doing. So let's go ask him. Okay. Uh, I love Nash and Mia, uh, Mia and Jessica. Wow, I called her Mia. Anyway, hold on. You guys need a break? Yes, we do. All right, so why am I going back? I'll just tell you right now. If you want to get one of the uh, collectibles in the game, the only way to do it is as soon as you get here to the island, go back. Yep, and there's more to it than that, and I will explain it as we go. But it's annoying enough to have to watch this sailing screen as many times as we're about to. So I wanted to do it before I started talking. But yes, I love the exchanges between Nash and Jessica. They're both hotheads, they're both big mouths, so they talk a lot of shit to each other. It's good times. It's good times. You guys haven't given up, right? Because all I need is a little rest. And I'll be ready to go back and resume the search. Indeed. Alright, so we only came back for one reason, and that is to talk to the boat guy. If you still want to use my boat, it's ready and wait. There's nothing like a cool ocean breeze blowing through your hair. So basically, the idea here is we gotta go to the island, sail back, see the dialogue, talk to the boat guy. And that's it. And we have to do this two more times. Yes. Sail to the island, sail back, talk to him. Sail to the island, sail back, talk to him. Sail to the island, do what we need to do. So, guess what we're going to do for the rest of this episode? Exactly this. I was kind of hoping in this episode we could fit in... Uh, damn it. Actually, like, fighting the new enemies here in this dungeon, and then I can clear the place out. I still might do that. We have a few minutes, I think. We might be able to pull it off. It just depends on how much longer this shit takes. This will take a couple more minutes, I think. I could cut it out if I was nice, but if I have to do it, you get to watch me do it in real time. It doesn't take that long. It's just annoying, that's all. I'm not as nice as H.C. Bailey and condense the video for you guys. So anyway, all you need is a little rest, blah, blah, blah. And I believe if we talk to the dude again... Jessica, sure is... You sure is one sweet cup of honey. I suggest you check your grammar and your libido. So yeah, that's like cool breeze, blah blah blah. So basically, yeah, we get a different piece of dialogue for each thing that the each time we come back, the fisherman will say some other shit about Jessica. So yeah, that's 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 the only thing we reason we have to do this. It's very annoying, and I probably never did this before in any of my playthroughs, but it's definitely something you have to do if you want to get all the collectibles in the game. If I ever ever gotten this item, I don't remember been a long time since I actually got all the collectibles in this game, if I ever did. I should say it's been a long time since I played this game with the intent to get all the collectibles. I think that's what I meant to say. Um, shit, it's been a long time since I even played this game, so. Like, the last time I played this game, I think I started it just to, just because I wanted to start it, because I wanted to play it at the time, but I don't think I ever even got this far. I don't know, maybe I did. I can't remember. But, um, yeah. Let's just get this last piece of dialogue. Yeah, yeah, we haven't given up yet. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just talk to the boatman one more time. Jessica, you sure is one sweet cup of honey. I suggest you check. That's it? I thought you were supposed to say something else. 
Huh. Well, hopefully I did it. Because if I don't get the item for doing that, I'm going to be an upset motherfucker. I'll have to double check on that one for you guys. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure it was three times. So... Again, I will double check on that one because I don't want to miss this item since I took the time to do it. In fact, I'll probably do it in between episodes to make sure I did it right. But anyway, yeah. Basically, if you don't do what I just did, you will not get the item. If you finish the Dragon Master Island, which is what this place is called, I think, uh, then you'll never, ever get the item that you get here or that you get from the guy later. You won't. You don't even get it right now, so you don't even know you're actually doing anything right now like I like I am, but just know that you'll never get the item if you don't do this now. You basically lock yourself out of getting it. It's pretty annoying. That's how a lot of the collectibles in this game are, though. Alright, before we call this an episode, let's fight some monsters, and then I can probably clear this place out. There is exactly th four monsters here, so let's see if we can find them all. This is the first one. It's a barrel snake. Again, these are usually your regular cannon fodder. I forgot to repurpose my team. That's alright. I'm going to let Jessica pound away. She has a mace, so she's pretty much a decent physical attacker, as well as, as she mentioned, good with healing magic. She is a priestess of Althena, after all. She studied at the Goddess Shrine. Remember, we were at the Goddess Shrine earlier, a couple episodes back. That's where we got the application to go to Vayne. Um, yeah, so that's basically where Jessica is. They did talk about her a lot there, if you remember, so it makes sense. Remember, some of them were sad that she was gone, and some of them were happy that she was gone. A lot of them just talk shit, saying she was a spoiled brat. So far, I don't see the spoiled thing, but I definitely see the attitude, so I can see why people would be a little off-put by her, just because of the attitude alone. Alright, so let's do the formation real quick. I gotta move these people around a little bit. I think I'll leave the back row the same. I'll just move Jessica up to the front like that, so she has time to rush up on the enemies. And I think this place also has traps. Yup. Oh, right. Okay, so the traps here are these kind of traps, where they basically hit you with mushroom status from Earthbound. Actually, it's just confusion, I think. It's kind of annoying. I believe you just have to wait it out, right? I think if you just wait it out, it'll go away. Yeah, okay. Yeah, as you can see, it's just uh, confusion. You have to walk around in the wrong directions. Basically, all your directions get messed up. Also, you probably noticed I walked into this poison water and it actually hurt me. Yeah, if you walk in this green, shiny shit, it hurts. So don't do that, unless you are trying to take damage. I kind of wanted to fight one of these fish things. Fish. Fish. I want to fight you. Come here, fish. You're a new enemy. I want to try. There we go. Alright. So, so far we've only fought the barrel snakes. Now, here is the fishy fish. These are nightmares. Of course, they're fucking nightmares. Why would, why would I call them anything else? Can't really hit them. Oh, also, be a little conservative with your MP here. You are going to be fighting a boss fight here. I will tell you that now. So if you're going to try and clear this place out completely, be very careful with your MP. You don't have to be super duper careful, but be a little careful. Don't, don't squander it. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. I'm going to be an idiot, though. I'm going to use fucking Temptation Song. If I can get through here with the Temptation Song, though, I'll be happy. Are these guys weak to lightning? I wonder. Can I hit all of them? I can hit five of them. I say that's worth it. Hitting five is worth it. Check this out. Check this out. Oh shit, they are with the lightning. Well then. Well, well, well then. Good shit, homies. Alright. In that case, I'll be more conservative with my MP. I may just use I mean I'm probably only gonna use lightning on the fish, because there's they're if they're in big groups, it makes sense. The bitch fish. The bitch fish. They're probably not weak to fire, also. Find out. They're not. Alright. Noted. See, I didn't mention, did I, that Jessica's actually a pretty good attacker? I think I did mention that, actually. She's a pretty good attacker. Her mace does good, decent damage. The only problem with her for a very, very long time is she only has one attack, unlike Alex's two. And that's probably her only real downside. She Eventually, she will get a second attack, but it's not for a long time. And by the time she does, it probably won't matter anymore. It's, I, it's been a long time since I've played this, so I don't really remember exactly when she gets that second attack. Anyway, there's 300 silver. I'm trying to avoid this enemy. I'm going to try and fight 
one of the other new enemies, maybe both. Let's see. Here's it. Here's one of them. Maybe this will be both of them. What are the two enemies called? Anyway, this is the the deep. Rolling in the deep. All right, this guy. I don't know. I'm gonna attack this one first. I think. Uh, let's see if we can put one to sleep. Otherwise, I'm just gonna focus on the one. I'm the one. Yeah. I'm the one, yeah. Get him, Alex. Get him. Not bad. Not bad. The fact that I killed one in one turn without being too bad was good. And if I put him to sleep, even better. Beautiful. Beautifully done. That was about as efficient as it's going to get right there. That was good stuff. That was good stuff. And then, yeah. Yup, yup. Victoriousness. Hell, hell yeah. Conserving that MP like a champ right now. Pretty proud of myself with the MP savage. Good stuff. Alright. I'm just looking for one more new enemy. And then we'll call it an episode. I'll get all the treasures and shit off screen. Or on screen. I won't pick up any treasures off screen. But I will be clearing out most of the enemies that I want to kill. But I want to see if I can get through here without fighting everything. Okay, here's the last new enemy. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. One last new enemy before we call this episode. And this is the big boy. This is called a monocrop. Uh, I'm gonna go straight for him with a sword dance. No! Take it back. I'm just gonna go straight for him with a regular attack. Um, I will, however, use Temptation Song. Because I'm scared. I'm scared, Mommy. I'm scared. Uh, yeah. And just have Jessica go straight for that guy. Don't. I don't even want to deal with his shit. I think he's gonna do a laser beam move because he's doing that eye blink move, and I don't even want to deal with whatever that's gonna happen. Whatever that's capable of. No thank you. Thank you. Thank you for killing him. Now put them all to sleep, and then we won't have to worry about shit. Uh, two ain't bad. I can live with that. Just don't bite me, bro. Alright, just attack that one. Then we can attack that one. Nash also. And yeah. We should be able to get rid of all the awake ones pretty easily. I hope. Apparently Nash's fire cane was not enough. Thought it would be. But the battle bow will be enough. And now we can finish them. Alright. Cool. This is pretty efficient. I like how this went. Good shit. Alright guys. I'm happy with how that is going. And that's good because now I can clear out the rest of the enemies off screen. And we can start the next episode here. And finish this place up. Sound good to everybody else? I hope so because that's what we're doing. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the next one, I'll pretty much start right here, or at least maybe I'll start back at the beginning and I'll grab all the treasures. We only grabbed a couple treasure, or one treasure, I think, which was like 300 silver. Yeah, and then the other treasure chest we picked up was just the, the confusion thing. Anyway, like I said, in the next one, I'll have the enemies cleared out, and then we'll deal with the Dragon Master. Is he going to be legit? I think we've already pretty much confirmed he is definitely not going to be a legit Dragon Master, but will he be tough to take down? And cease his fucking fish fishing blocking ways or whatever the hell I'm, I'm just just shut up already I'll see you guys in the next one peace